Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Sis V, man. I'm going through it again. Um, it all started when I moved back to Vegas. I lost my job at the Pearl Local because the manager was giving me dreads, and she was making it impossible for me to work. I went to work at Mickey T's. The girl was trying to sell her stuff as a ticket. And then they used the race card and the sex card on me at the Mickey D's. I called the corporate office. I did my part. And then um, they kept, they changed me from one store to another store to finally a store by my house. And then what happened was um, they made it so that I couldn't do my job at all. And then they annoyed me at work. And then I lost my job. And then I was going through a lot of social issues because of the situation. I went to therapy. I uh, tried to get on assistance because I couldn't support myself. <coughs> it was like a social battle between me, the race card, the girl card, the company card, the um, you're a hothead card. But I went to therapy, bro. And in therapy, all I could talk about was what people were doing to me. I couldn't work at any McDonald's, corporate or franchise. After that situation, I still can't even go to McDonald's. And now I can't even go to McDonald's because of the guy at the Circa. And now I can't even go to Hello Kitty Cafe because the manager at the fucking fashion show mall. So having gone through that experience and knowing that therapy couldn't even give me medicine or anything to feel better because it can't cure the effects of people. I'm feeling like I'm being put in that position again where I'm having to defend myself because people's views and opinions and it's not correct. And I really should talk to the lawyer about the McDonald's incident because of the fact that um, it affected me. I went to therapy, I did all the steps and people said that I was lying and people said that I was being sexist, and people said that um, I was being racial. So then I socially was uh, scrutinized by the community. And I'm not gonna go through that again. You know, I'll take them to therapy with me because in therapy, all we did was sit there and talk about all the things that was happening to me because I openly called McDonald's corporate they did nothing for me. I couldn't go to work. They kept changing me from store to store, making me look like a problem. And then I couldn't get a job at any McDonald's corporate or franchise because it's the management company that runs the McDonald's is. And then I had to try to find a McDonald's that wasn't under that management company or other things. So it affected me financially, emotionally, mentally to the part I had to get on assistance, I couldn't support myself. And now they're trying to put me back in that position where I can't even feel comfortable trying to go to work, you know? And um, why do I have to take it, bro, when all I did was tell the truth, you know? Because they started making problems with me at the job, at the McDonald's. It was a corporate store. And then they, they, just, would, they just kept making it seem like I was the bad guy even though I was telling the truth the whole time. And instead of doing their jobs, they started annoying me and not letting me work. When all I did was tell the truth and they didn't even investigate it. All they did was create more and more problems. And that's the reason why I can't take these situations because I already went through it with McDonald's and I already hit the fucking GR shit and I already hit the fucking assistance and I've already been broke because of these people and I'm not gonna go through that shit again. I got bills to pay. I'm trying to get back to my life, man. And this is fucking annoying, bro. You know what I mean? Like, just because they're security guards, just because they're supposed to be supervisors or something, doesn't mean they have the power to affect me socially and my financial status, bro, you know? Because I'm not trying to go through that shit again, especially when I did something the right way. So I guess I'm gonna have to call a lawyer today. And then I'm afraid that by me calling a lawyer and having another incident about me having to leave a job, I'm in the wrong because it seems like everywhere I go, because I'm not down with the business, because I'm not using, I'm always losing my jobs. 
I'm always being forced to go to therapy, always having to prove that I'm okay, and people are trying to make me socially crazy, but then when I go to the to the therapy and I go to the hospitals and things, they tell me that I'm perfectly fine because of the fact that medicine can cure people, the effects of people on me. So I'm having a really bad day. I have to go about my day, pay my bills, and I'm just like, what problems can come from this?